Hello and welcome to something that has never been done on that channel, which is a fortune cookie for each element. The other day I ordered Chinese, as you do, and uh, because I'm so awesome, they gave me six um, fortune cookies. Don't know what happened to the first two. They are no longer here. Right? So anyway, I had these fortune cookies and they have, as, as they do, they have um, obviously little things in it, uh, messages. And even though this is all just a bit of fun, they, they were proper messages. So I thought like, you know what? Let's do something with them. Because we have four left, we're doing it for each element. You probably notice that I did a six months reading if you're not, not aware, I did a six months reading from July that gets you through to the 8th of January. So for six months, I did a reading for each element, which means three signs in one. So if you want to know what's happening for you in the next six months, there's a reading, a reading for each of your element. Um, just want to, want to say that because they're quite, they're quite in depth, right? And so, so I thought we're going to, we're going to have this. So I tell you about the two that I obviously ate. <laughs> so the first one was, Listen to the wisdom of the old. That was quite a, a nice verse. Listen, listen to, the, to the wisdom of the old. It has lucky numbers as well, which I won't go into because they're just about a million. And then um, the second one is you are known for being quick in action and decisions. So I quite like that. So yeah. what we will do is we have four elements. We have fire, earth, air and water. And we will basically just have to each <laughs> and just see where this is going. So I'm going to just open the first, right? I'm not going to be a gentleman, but <laughs> it, it turns out um, Claire said she never had one. Never. Right? Never. So, so I said, I'm, let me just eat the first one, show you how it's done. And by the way, if you haven't watched anything else and you're, you're new to this channel, my name is Thomas. This is Thomas's Tower Reading. And this is my guest, Claire Corbett. Yeah. She runs the Not The Tree Holistic Therapies Center in Telford and her information is in the description box below. And this is how this works. This is for the element of fire. This is, this is for the fire signs. Let's see what you got. Sorry. Bloody hell. This is a... Anyway, you have to be a builder just to get them. Mmm. 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 Okay. Mm. <laughs> Bear with me. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> fire signs. The message is be full. Place special emphasis on old friendships. Place special emphasis on old friendship. And the be full part means once you do this, once you rekindle, should you be lucky enough to reach someone that you're still gelling with, it will fulfill you in a way you probably haven't been fulfilled in quite some time. So this is the time for your, for the fire signs um, to reach out. Now this video is timeless. What timeless means is whenever you come across this video, that message is for you because it is not based on, on, on a month, right? So I quite like this. Yeah. <laughs> so this is for fire signs, right? Um, and now we're looking at earth signs. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Thank you. And the eye problem is opening it. You, you got it, okay? Got it. Not quite right, actually. So this is for the earth signs. Okay. A sound mind and healthy body bring many happy events to your family. Okay, is there something on the other side? Beef. Beef. <laughs> okay. Don't have a beef with anybody. I don't know. So, sometimes, you know, it's just obviously that they're Chinese, so I have no idea what beef. they mean, right? Beef. Okay. So maybe this, this message goes, goes, goes well with beef. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, I thought there was something on the other side, so... Right. But that's quite good though as well though, isn't it? Because um with what's coming up in you know over the next couple of months is very much yeah, um absolutely. being 
in heart. Okay. And I always find self-care. that even when we're doing these things for fun, when mm. I opened this, obviously I said, okay, well, they're giving me fortune cookies. Yeah. And then I had this, you know, this, this, these two messages. I was like, you know what? They actually, they actually resonate. Mm-hmm. So that was amazing. That is for the earth signs. Brilliant. Now we're looking at the, at, the, at the earth signs, the air signs. I wrote them down. You know, I've been doing this for so many years and I can't remember. Uh, fuck all. So the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So that's, that's now for the air signs. Before we then go into the water signs. There we go. That's one way of getting it. <laughs> yeah. As long as you're getting it. Here we go. Um, air signs. Mm. In a minute, here's your message. Near that, the message is adventure can be a real happiness. Adventure can be a real happiness, and it says here, quench one's thirst. What I'm getting from this is, it's like, it's an itch that needs to be scratched. Go on adventure, have an adventure, and make it fun. So if this, if you, if you are in a situation, um, air signs, where you feel I haven't done a lot. So I remember, for instance, uh, not too long ago we recorded the Quarius here for August, and it was about needing an extended break. Now that this comes in for for the air signs, which Aquarius is, um, maybe while you are away for three months or whatever you can afford, right? Go on a bloody uh, excursion, right? Mm-hmm. It makes sense. So for the for the air signs, right? Adventure can be a real happiness. So be adventurous, make it happen, right? And now finally we're going into the water signs, which are Cancer, Libra. No, sorry, Cancer, Scorpio. What are we talking about? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are the water signs. This is for the water signs. The fortune cookie for each element. Never done this before. This is good fun. It is good fun. So what's this for water? Mm-hmm. New and rewarding opportunities will soon develop for you. Awesome. And this is chicken. <laughs> this is this is Chinese. I don't really know enough about Chinese astrology, if that makes sense. Yeah. Don't run around like a headless chicken. Yeah, yeah. So we don't quite know what, what, what that means and what that refers no. to. But the message no. is obviously this one. New and rewarding opportunities will soon develop for you. I'm a water sign. Lovely. There you go. I'm up with it. Yeah, I'm up with I love that. Love it. Anyway, that was a fortune cookie for each element. Never done this before. That was good fun. I will not <laughs> buy a bloody bag of fortune cookies. And we, we're not going to do this every month on this channel. This is very likely going to be a once off. But at the same time, while this was a bit of fun, the messages are messages. And because there's no coincidence, you get that message for your element. Um, it means something, it, it is mm. important. Um, so listen to this, right? you can replay the video if you haven't, <laughs> and then um, see if it resonates and what you can do with the information that makes sense. It's quite interesting sometimes to have information that doesn't come from your own system. I recently did a book tip here on that channel about a book that had to do with, um, with the Celtic astrology, which is about trees. Um, and I did a book tip about it because it's just amazing. And now every now and then when I do my astrology reports for people, I sometimes have a side note where I just put in what tree the people are that are born in that timeline, right? Not always, but if, when it sort of resonates, I do that. It's amazing what extra information you can then get, mm-hmm. right? Because there are so many different astrological modalities. It makes sense to know about a lot of them. It's just with the, with the Chinese one, your sign only comes around every 60 years. So it's very, very um, difficult to get this. Um, so I haven't really looked into it. I had a, I had a couple of books on it. But uh, maybe I'm just an idiot. I find that it's too difficult. I don't get it. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really amazing because you have not only, so you have only five or six, seven years when your sign actually comes around. Mm-hmm. And then if it is in that year, it means something else to another year, if that makes sense. So it's not as simple as knowing nine planets and mm-hmm. or 10 planets within a sign. 
like we have in astrology, in, in the Western astrology. So I apologize, I don't know enough about, uh, about the, um, the Chinese one, right? So here we go. Thank you so much. I was just about to say, here, here. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, should you. there be a Chinese person out there if you want to explain this to me, hit me up. Right? Thank you so much. Thank See you, you. soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>